Mr. Daydream talks to the stars. <laughs> it looks like a wonderful day for daydreams, Mr. Daydream. It does. Let's go. Mr. Happy has been reading his favourite book, Tarzan in Wonderland. <laughs> there he goes. Mr. Happy is on his way to Dreamland. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Here's little Miss Tiny. <laughs> Mr. Skinny, how do you fancy a lollipop? Uh, yes, please. It'll fatten me up. Thank you, Mr. Happy. Just one will do nicely. Why don't you give the other one to Mr. Uppity? He's having to tread on eggs, poor chap. Uh, excuse me, I wonder if I could have the other lollipop to make a soldier. Oh, dear me. Silly, silly me. I forgot to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very worried because Mr. Uppity said thank you. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Worry. He did say thank you. And <laughs> look how he's been rewarded. <laughs> Mr. Uppity, I'm taking you home in a flying hammock as a reward for saying thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. From now on, I'll always say thank you. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Daydream, and thank you for such a wonderful dream. Did you enjoy your journey? Oh, yes, I had such a good time. All these adventures have made me hungry. Would you like to stay for lunch? Well, I'd love to. After lunch, Mr. Daydream and Mr. Happy decided to go for a walk into town. Thank you, Mr. Happy. That was a delicious lunch. My pleasure, Mr. Daydream. I say, dreams do come true sometimes, don't they? <laughs> Why, of course they do. Do you see what I see? Yes, it's Mr. Skinny. Sucking a lollipop. <laughs> now that rings a bell. All the same, little Miss Prim, I find it very worrying. Perhaps he is ill. On the contrary, Dr. Pill. At last, I shall be able to invite him round. And you don't find that worrying? What is so worrying, Mr. Worry? Well, you see, I've just met Mr. Rafferty at the butcher's, and uh, he had his nose in the air. No, he said thank you. <laughs> I must be dreaming. 